Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about geometry. The topic to that is about we need to find the surface area of a regular hexagonal pyramid. So now I want to show you how to answer. The first thing we have a height that is about 10 centimeters. So the height of this one from here to here. So the next one, each side we have five. So that is about this one in here. So we want to find the surface area. The first thing we need to find the area of the base. So if we look carefully about this one. So we have five, five, and so on in here. Because this is about regular. So from this boy to the center in here, we know that one circle that is about 360 degrees. So if we divide this one into like this, we see that we have six triangles in here, but the angle of this one, they should have the same. So we divide by six and we have 60 degrees. So this one we have 60 degrees. And this side they have the same. So that means on the value in here, they have the same number five. So that is about equilateral triangle in here. So we, if we want to find the area of one triangle in here, we need to have the formula that is about 1 over 2 multiplied by number 5 in here. Number 5 in here. And we have side of number 60 degrees. However, we have 6 triangles in here. So we multiply by 6. And this is about the area of the base. And we have 75 with the square root of number 3 over number 2. And that is about square centimeters. So we just have the area of the base. Now we need to find the area of the side in here. So if we look carefully from this point to the center in here, we can draw another line in here. So as you can see that, this one we have number five, this one we have number five, similar for this center to this point in here. So we know that that should be about the midpoint of the side. So this one in here, we have 2.5 and we have 2.5. We use number 5 divided by number 2 and we have 2.5 in here. And this angle, that is about 90 degrees. So this one we have 5, this one we have 2.5. If we want to find the side in here, we can use about Pythagorean theorem. So because we want to find the height of the triangle in here, so we need to know the side on the base first. Then this one we have another 90 degrees on this triangle. So I will highlight by the green color to show for you.
this is about the ring triangle we need to calculate in here so we have 2.5 and number 5 so we need to put about 8 square plus 2.5 square equals to 5 square now I will put this one go to the right and we have 8 square equals to 5 square minus 2.5 square and this one in here we have 18.75 and now we can find the value of 8 that is about the square root of 18.75 so this one we have 5 with the square root of number 3 over 2 so that means this sign here that is about 5 with the square root of number 3 over 2 and now we need to find the value of sin here so the height we have number 10 the side this one that's about a we just calculate in here now we can find the value of c so that should be about c square equals to 5 with the square root of number 3 over 2 square plus number 10 square and this one equals to 118.75 and we put the square root for the both side and we have number 5 with the square root of 19 over number 2 now we have the height of this triangle in here so I will highlight the red color so we see that this is about the red triangle in here and we know that C that is about the height of the red triangle because we have 90 degrees in here so we have the area of the side that is about number 5 with the square root of 19 over number 2 multiplied by the base that is about number 5 over number 2 so in this situation we have six sides of these triangles so we multiply by number six so we have 75 with the square root of 19 over number two now we sum this one and this one we have the we have the total surface area So we have 75 with the square root of number 3 over 2 plus 75 with the square root of 19 over 2. And this one we have 228.41. And this is the final answer we need to find in here. This is the end. Thank you for watching.